okay, so sadly I wasn't able to uh, get the uh, rank 1 score in Time Spy Extreme with single uh, graphics card. I was very very close though. I was able to get the uh, uh, highest graphics card score in the Time Spy Extreme test with single card. So that was uh, 14,240 points for the GPU score, but the CPU score was too low, only like 16,800 something. Whereas I think Ralph from Sweden got almost 17,900 and I think even OGS at least 17,300 or even 17,500, 600, something like this. So uh, the CPU has a huge impact on this test. So um, uh, I hope I could try this again very, very soon with uh, Chokot, another Finnish overclocker. And, uh, we could try with the CPU on cold as well, because the Time Spy Extreme is much easier than something like Cinevent. So my CPU should be able to run like 5.4 easy on Time Spy Extreme without too much temperature control. And I think the maximum speed would be like 5.6, 5, 5, from 5.5 to 5.7 something. That's my bet on the highest possible clock. Pretty happy to some degree, but I really would have wanted to see the highest score in the overall score. If I had the 64 core AMD Threadripper, I think it, it would have been easy. So uh, that's the sad part about the uh, 28 core because it's just not enough. Well, this kind of test is kind of stupid because when talking about like gaming systems, there isn't like any realistic case where the 28 core would outperform any of the mainstream CPUs by this kind of margin. So uh, this is heavily a lot on the CPU as well. The sad thing is that memory score or the memory frequency doesn't really uh, have too much impact on, the, on this test. So uh, I, will, I even tried on ambient comparing stock memory to uh, 1420 to 1450. The whole gain from memory overclock was only like 400 points. So the uh, memory doesn't have that big impact on, the, on this test. The maximum speed was, I was almost passing 27.15, at minus 100, close to minus 180, like 175, 180, but then it crashed and cracked at the end. So uh, I still have a lot of issues with thermal paste cracking, even though now the GPU surface is really, really good based on the uh, thermal paste spread after mounting, mounting the container. I'll, uh, I'll still want to give this a, a one more attempt, but sadly I don't have enough LN2 for that for now. So I have to uh, try it again, hopefully in two weeks. If everything goes according to plan, I could be trying this again with Chokot, with the CPU on LN2 as well in two weeks. So uh, let's hope it can turn out and let's see what can we get. But this, ha this whole session has been kind of mess, mostly uh, just me testing things around, but yeah. The uh, new card is definitely good and I have a lot of new footage about the uh, GPU lapping and so on. But yeah, so uh, no can do, still need to find out what's going on because really now the surface is so good I should be able to run full pot very very easily. It was giving me a lot of issues like silent cracks at even at 160, that was very weird. And uh, then just uh, cracking at idle, I have absolutely no idea what's going on. So I don't know, this uh, whole thing is just giving me a lot of issues and it doesn't even make things fun anymore. So no damn idea, but yeah. So uh, just stay tuned for the next video and thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.